Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 7 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to edit some of the features of this house. As you can see, we uh, deleted the office room and we want it to be hanging on this one. And then we extended the back right here so that we will have a bigger washroom and then we fix some of the walls right here and we added a bigger um, closet walk-in closet so now what we're gonna do is we're going to fix some of this um, like here this one is extruded all the way to the floor or to the roof and then we just need to select this and then select this so that it will not overhang or it will not extrude too much on the uh, roof so that's the easy way to do that now what we're gonna do is I'm going to extend this I want this one to be a cube like feature so that's why I'm going to add this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also connect this to the lower part. So copy this. So let me see if I will be able to grab this. But give me a second. Let's go to south elevation. I think that's the best one to see how this one will form and remove the constraint and then just select it there so here i'm going to drag it down so i think the best way is to just cover this up i want this to be I think this is better if it's a plank wood so I'm gonna add this as plank wood and then it differs on this ones as well so I'm going to align this to below and then I'm going to change this face to the pin stripe or parking stripe but before that, I would like to extend this face right here. So edit boundary. And we could see uh, we need to change the below. So I'm going to change the underlay to level 1. And as you can see, we will be able to see everything and then edit the boundary because this is up to the first floor. So now this one is the wall right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just notch it right about here. And then all the way around this is a good way of for us not to extend everything else anymore this one is actually delete this we need to extend now this part and then trim this and then we should extend this part right here pick this line so basically you just need to edit this part right here trim this one and then trim this part right here so now just choose the others and then we could just align it all the way right here 
So everything is exact. I think a little bit more so that it's behind that. So I'm going to move this all the way to this post right here or to this wall. And as you can see, everything is covered I think and then we just need to fix one of the sides needs to go back more and then this one right here needs to go back as well So that looks good. Um, the only need, the only thing that we need is to change this material right there. Um, I'm going to leave this one like that. Um, this one, and then I want to change this and below. So I'm going to do a paint. And then parking stripe, the one that is yellow. Parking stripe, I want to use this face right there. And then we're going to select the split face, and then we're going to split face this one as well I'm going now to select this part all the way here and then click finish and then we can just pull this one back like that I might go over this but I think that's good enough and then here what we can do is we could split face this one as well but I'm going to select where this goes so end to end on this part and then now if we select this you'll be able to just select only that part and you'll be able to differentiate those only so now it only select those parts now and i like the way this looks because this is white this will be wood and this will be different so i like the change i'm also going to add this one right here So let's go to second floor. Uh, let's go to third floor actually. And I need to be able to see the one at the top. So I'm going to open the underlay. I'm going to go to the underlay. I'm going to change this to level three. And then select this one, copy, and then I'm going to copy it to the corner and then add this one right here. So once that added, I'm going to go right here and then drag and drop that. So we will have the same one, the same look for our entrance. So now I just want to add the pool ladder. So if you go to part one description, there will be a link there. Uh, it's probably going to be the second link 
and I have the full ladder right here so download that um, we could put face paste let's put the square add that as well that's the pot light square and then we could do the the folding door so download those three um, and just drag and drop it once you, once you have it So once you have it, just need to drag and drag, and you'll be able to load it to our project. So go to level one, CM, and you'll be able to just add it right about here. I'm gonna add it here. There we go. If we go to, to our 3D, as you can see, it's visible right there. And then also, we have our parametric folding door. So just add it right here. I know this one is too big for now, but we need to try and add it. So go to door and then edit it completely so that it's not too big to or too wide so we could just put this one at maybe 2500 and then it's up to you if you want to change it to 2600 for the height and then panel thickness that's good looks okay and then just add it like that right there um, I'm planning to add it so I'm gonna pick the host and then I'm going to move it on this side where we have this one right here of course it's too big so we need to edit this again I'm going to estimate it around 1400 for the width Click apply okay and then as you can see we have that one right there I'm also going to have I'm gonna fix this part of our kitchen because I want to add something onto the um, fridge right here so we have this one right here that's fine right there I think that's much better 2600 and then one thing that I want to do or want to load afterwards is the pot light so I'm gonna drag just drag and drop this this one is um, a nice family because you'll be able to attach it to any face that you want so it's a face base um, family that I created and you just need to place it right there and then we're going to maybe finalize this one later um, if we go to I think ceiling plan we'll be able to see that I'm gonna copy this and then move it every 1000 so I'm gonna copy multiply every 1000 this is too much so I'm going to maybe move this one right here to the edge so that we could add one more another 1000 I think that's perfect And then just copy it make sure multiply is checked and then this one could do 1500 and then another 1500 or 
one, let's do 1,000 instead. I'm going to do 1,000 instead so that we could maximize 1,000. I like the spacing to have that nice there we go um, I just don't like it to be too much at the end so probably I'll do is move it like that I think that's good enough and then I'm going to add one right here or I think that's too much already so at least we have some lights here overshadowing and then this is too high so I'm going to align it I think what we could do is negative 500 so it's let me double check um, that's 3200 so we still have 27 so that's fine And then we could just align everything. There we go. I think those are the ones. And then here, I'm going to go to South Elevation. And I'm just going to maximize this. that's good enough for me to have a different one right there and then I'm going to add some pots right here I'm going to pull this one up because that's too much this one as well I'm going to pull this one up a L right there And the washroom right there I'm not going to add any um, windows right here I think that's that's not good um, although I'm going to extend this but not to the point that it is all the way just leaving some gaps there I think that's good enough and maybe I could just do this so we will have some light And then I'll probably going to add some lights on top of here. So what I can do is I could select this CS and then add it right there. And I'm going to fix that later and space it out properly. Okay, so let's try and select those. Copy. And then make it 1,000 and then another 1,000 so the gaps are not good but we could just manually add those check level 1 we have this one as well copy this 1,000 and then another 1,000 
and then move them all together. That's good enough. And this one looks good now. So we're going to stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.